Hello again, my name's Terry Miles and welcome to my uh, quest, my, my church quest to find, on this occasion, pipe organs in churches. And we are at um, St Mary the Virgin in Huntingfield and this is Emma. Hello Hi. Emma. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And Emma knows quite a lot about this church, a bit of history, a little bit, a lot. A lot. lot. <laughs> and um, so um, Emma, when was the, the church built would you say? Oh they think the tower is 11th century um, but I'll show you in the tower there's some 10th century Saxon stones set into the wall I see. and it wasn't until the um, the 1800s that Mildred and her husband William came and Mildred painted the beautiful ceiling. I oh, so Mildred painted the ceiling? <laughs> yes. And is Mildred buried? She is, she's the one, the sarcophagus one um, with the cross on the top and William was rector of the church for a long time and that's his. So William, I see, he's very big, okay. Wow, so they the graves, the paint. Mildred. Yes, she sounds as though she was a feisty lady. <laughs> and she's a great painter as well, by the way. Well, you'll have to wait and see. But yeah. Well, I think it was slightly dodgy. So. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow, that's fantastic. It took us sort of over four years yes. in total. Yeah, in total. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's a wonderful testament to. She, I, she couldn't have children, and I think it, it was her thing to bring something to the village. It's a wonderful testament to it. It certainly is. It certainly is. Let me show you the organ. So it's got a church organ, a pipe organ. So let's, let's have a look. Oh, this was given by Lady Vanek uh, in memory of her mother, and the Vanecks owned Hoglingham Hall um, in the sort of 17th century. And uh, yes, they were the great landowner. And this, her mother was an American, and she gave it in honour of her mother. So the organ itself then is 17th, 1700? Oh, 18, 18, okay. Yeah. That's how do we get to it? You oh, literally okay. <laughs> come around the back. Sorry. Okay, so we have to go around the back. Okay. So, do you still have the, the services here? We do have some services. I have to say, we don't have many people come. You can go through through here. Um, sadly, oh, we, we have a village that oh, terribly keen on God, but um, anyway, we do get some. So we're, it's a shame, isn't it? You think yeah, the yeah. congregations, isn't it? I know, it is a shame. Mm. I think people um, it, people don't realise it. it's a lovely building. It's beautiful. Have to be too religious as long as they enjoy it, it keeps it going. It's, yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. Do you get many people come to visit? We so, get no oh, end. This, well, this lady, good. Pamela Holmes, wrote, wrote this book called The Huntingfield Painters. And we just get no end of visitors just so, to see that. So the name of the book is The Huntingfield Paintress. By Pamela the, Holmes. The Huntingfield Paintress by Pamela Holmes. Okay. Go out and buy it today. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Here's the organ. I'm going to turn it on. Yeah. So, the off and dis... It, is, it used to be hand-pumped, but it's not. They always have this thing called discuss on it, which I'm not quite sure what it means. Off, discuss, and on. I don't know what discuss means. Okay. Oh, hang on. It's, it's sounding promising. Here you go. Can you hear that? <laughs> okay. Okay, we're going to um, 
We're going to play how great they are. Lovely, lovely. No, it sounds fantastic. Okay. <laughs> So that was how great that was on this beautiful organ. I think you still have funerals here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's still an active church. So, and is there kind of burial? Can they still be buried on? The yes, back? yes, yes. I could show you around the back. That's where okay. our current thing is. And and yes, I mean, if if you get the chance to mention our stained glass, it's falling out at the back, and we're trying to start a campaign. We've got to um, raise fifteen thousand. Fifteen. Okay, so 15,000, that's yeah. one five. Yeah. 15,000 pounds to raise, uh, to, to, to to raise money to, to, yeah. to restore the stained glass. Yes, that, this bottom left-hand corner is bowing out. Okay. And apparently if the whole thing collapsed, it would be 60,000. So we want to try So 15,000 could save it being 60. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. I'm so pleased I saw your email and <laughs> gave you a call. Yeah. Make me a channel of your face. I've just discovered where the, where the volume is for the pedal, so...
have a quick look around the, uh, the, the, yeah, the, the graveyard right outside. Lovely trees that have planted in the church. They have a mulberry. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, you actually have a mulberry bush? Yes, it's a mulberry bush. That's a mulberry bush. Yeah. I, I, do you know, I never even knew what one looked like. No, it's beautiful. And the fruit, I don't know whether there's any fruit. There were some late berries. They're delicious. But they taste lovely. I really see. lovely. So that is a mulberry bush, ladies and gentlemen. We could go around it, I suppose. And then we've got this very interesting um, memorial. This is a memorial to the Burnett family who owns Edmonton Hall. And um, this, I've, we've never done it yet, but this cross, you can remove it and there are steps underneath and there is a vault underneath the vestry wow. with 12 coffins in it. So this could be removed yes. and there's a vault underneath. I'll show you, we have photographs. Actually. And there's 12 coffins, yeah. wow. So what was the family? Like? Vanek. The Vanek family? They came over in 17 something. He was a Dutch merchant. I see. And bought the big house. And that's wow. amazing. My mother and father-in-law are buried down there somewhere. I your mother and father-in-law. So do, obviously people have to reserve the spot. So you do, yeah, you do have to reserve, but you only have to fill in the form. Um, there's no, you know, cost involved. It's so tranquil. Mm. It's beautiful. Gosh, it's amazing. And this is where William and Mildred Holland lived. The, the old rectory. I don't know if you can see it. That's the old rectory. It is very tranquil, isn't it? It is. It's lovely. Beautiful. Very peaceful. And the, the hedge over there is well preserved. Oh yes, it was lovely. Two chaps were doing that. I have a Jack Russell who was in the car mm. with me. Yes, yeah, see. And two guys were on step ladders cutting the head and I, I lost my Jack Russell and the two guys were called Jack and Russell. Would you like to see photographs of the crypt? Oh definitely, we've got to see the photographs. So no one's actually removed these? Not for a long time, there's some photographs of the lady who, um, the ugly lady that is Sarah Peel, who was the last for neck. So, now well, there's somebody, they've removed the cross there and then obviously there must be steps down. Oh, so you can see the coffins, I see. Yeah, yeah, let's see if I've got these. Wow, so those coffins have been there since... Oh. Well, I think the first one out was 1750-something. So, yes, it would be the whole of the generations. I think Lady Sarah Peel died, I think, in 2001. Right. And so she's the last one. So she went in there as well? Yeah. And the coffins from the old days are still yeah. reasonably good condition. Yes, and I think and so. you can see the old designs that they yeah, used to have. absolutely. No, I, we would all love to have a look. I assume a lot of them are lead-lined. That's what they did, yeah. didn't they, years ago? Incredible. So it's a tomb, isn't it? Mm. Mm. So this is the, when they took the... the, the, the and, and, and the steps were there. Yeah. So they were specially designed for exactly this reason. So yes, yes. And th years ago, that was the Bonnet Chapel. That was their little private chapel. I see. <laughs>
opportunity to play this wonderful, You're really welcome. beautiful, fantastic. Five organ. And it's time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, not only here in the UK, Emma, but from around the world, to say cheerio for now, until next time, as we turn the pipe organ up, turn the light up, and she goes home to bit to sleep until the next service, I suppose. Yes, yes. Well, isn't it great? There's a little secret entrance out the back. It's kind of, yeah, it's great. It's like only not many people know this. You know. <laughs> published in 2016 and it's it is fictional but it's the story of her interpretation of Mildred Holland and why she painted the church and how she painted the church and it's actually a really good read it does give you a lot of insight into how life was years ago so uh, no it's great and we've been delighted because lots of visitors come because of the book okay well 
I'll have a copy for a start. There we go. Thank you very much. And thank you very go. much. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much for You're your really time welcome. today, and uh, we shall enjoy reading the book. Good, and, um, thank you. Where can we purchase oh, the book? Oh, where can you purchase Well, actually, at the moment, I think you have to look online, because I think she's sort of between publishers. Ah. But if, if people would like to come to Huntingfield Church, I've got some. And yes. I think the bookshop in Halesworth shops them as well. A so bookshop in... Halesworth. That's Halesworth. Local town. Your local town, okay. Otherwise, I'm sure you could probably find it from a publisher online. Yeah, okay. yeah absolutely. Or as you say, come and visit uh, St Mary the Virgin um, here in Huntingfield in Suffolk. Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely come worth along. a visit, you know. Definitely. All right, well, thank you, Emma. It's very wonderful so um, to, meet to meet you. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> what can I say?